Nisa TV's Roland Boyden said to welcome you back to another edition of our weekly video calendar. It's an interactive look at the weekend's upcoming events, all sponsored by the Brattleboro Savings and Loan and presented each Thursday on youtube.com slash TV and brattleborotv.org, where I'll briefly mention that watching with the annotations clicked on in the bottom right corner of your YouTube video viewer means you get the full interactive experience as I chit chat away about these area events here. You can click any one of the app-shaped links behind me. That'll take you to an official organizer website, get you all the details, the where's and when's, and how to get involved with any one of these events. It's a first Friday, which means gallery walk. It's December, which means holiday themes. We'll get into all of it, but we'll start with this here, eighth annual uh, Friends of Brooks Memorial Library book sale. It's gonna go on this Friday from 10 to six and Saturday from 10 to two at the Brooks Memorial Library, just south of this here 230 Main Street Municipal Center Studios. Right on Main Street, uh, you can find a wealth of used books at a reasonable price and support the Friends of Brooks Memorial Library. For more on the Friends, their mission, and what they intend to do with the funds raised here, we spoke with Friends of Brooks Memorial Library President Mary Ide. The Friends of the Library help uh, support the library through a myriad of ways, including supporting the First Wednesday Lecture Series. We help support children's programs. We also are really important in helping the uh, public access computer costs. From there, we'll move on in the calendar and launch into Gallery Walk here, which does have its own official website, so you can click that app link and uh, get all the details on Gallery Walk in general. We've also got a pop-out here, which will uh, give you more details on specific Gallery Walk events, including the BABB Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony and the extraordinary new indie art collaborative dubbed Pop-Up Rattlebro, which will debut its premiere uh, exhibit this gallery walk starting at 6.30 p.m. in the former Adavazi store located at 8 Flat Street in the Latches Building directly next to the Flat Street Pub. Now keep an eye out for flashy lights, big signs, and arrows pointing to where you go. Now if all goes to plan, pop-up Brattleboro will be held in a different location each time, so stay tuned for details. That's a clickable link here. And speaking of art, this weekend a group of area artisans will gather at a residence on Cherry Street to host a two-day open house uh, packed with potential Christmas and holiday gift ideas like homemade soaps, pottery quilts, rugs, woodwork, puzzles, and much, much more. That's the Cherry Street Artisans button here. It's complete with food and live music. It's admissions and sales tax free. And again, it's on Cherry Street, 44 Cherry Street to be exact, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturday and 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday with the impressive roster of live musicians set to perform Saturday night. Uh, and that all starts at 6.30 p.m. For more on the event, we spoke with Cherry Street Artisan, co-creator, area artist and potter, Naomi Lindenfeld. 44 Cherry Street is a beautiful big Victorian house and we clear out all the furniture and set up displays of our work for uh, a weekend. And the kitchen turns into a cafe and then we have live music on Saturday evening and you can come and just have a meal there, you don't have to buy anything, just enjoy the whole atmosphere of it, or um, combine it with shopping. For more on Cherry Street Artisans, you can head to their website where there's a series of photos on some of the items you can expect to find, the food and the uh, cafe menu. You can also see our full interview with Naomi at brittlebrotv.org uh, or youtube.com slash brittlebrotv. We've also linked to it in the uh, spotlight video there, so be sure to check that out. All right, uh, before we launch into the rest of this gallery walk weekend, we'll head on over to Putney here and uh, check in with Calendar Frequenters Next Stage Arts here. Make it on that by uh, talking about the local rock and roll sensation, the Snaz, as they bring their highly anticipated act to Next Stage Arts in Putney. That's this coming Saturday night, 7.30 p.m., and it's uh, something that'll give me a chance now to roll some video of the group in action. This is all courtesy of hardworking DCTV volunteer Maria Dominguez. And I'll also give it you a chance to find out how to see them for yourselves in person. Again, Next Stage Arts in downtown Putney, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. And with that, we'll move on to Sunday afternoon here with the Pause for Prevention, a family and pet-friendly winter holiday photo event for pets and their people. It'll be held Sunday, December 8th at Achille Agway in Brattleboro from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now, Pause for Prevention encourages pet owners, families, and children, plus community members, to participate by having a professional photo taken in a winter holiday scene for a suggested donation. Proceeds of the event benefit not only the Brattleboro Area Prevention Coalition, but also the Wyndham County Humane Society. 
And in addition to raising money, Pause for Prevention aims to uh, increase awareness of the risks of secondhand smoke to pets and children, both at home and in the car. That is it for another edition of our weekly video calendar here, but be sure to check in with us this coming Friday, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Time on BCTV Comcast Channel 8 for a special live gallery walk edition of 5.45 Live, where we'll check in with this year's tree lighting ceremony from Building a Better Battle Bro. And of course, uh, we'll have another video calendar for you released next Thursday at youtube.com slash TV, where you can subscribe and be the first to find out about all our web uploads, headline releases, and plenty more, including those full 545 Live broadcasts. Still time to click any one of these interactive links as I continue to chit-chat away, shamelessly promoting BCTV. If you want to get to those websites, find out more. We've still got a few uh, precious seconds left before that final animation transitions us out of here. We'll see you next Thursday for another calendar. In the meantime, Thanks for watching.